So we're burning people in the first five minutes of the movie in series. Um, stay tuned. Is this PG? All right. Welcome to another episode of Player. We are reviewing Avatar, The Last Airbender series. Okay. So I want y'all to understand money before I go into the review of what happened. So this is just the review for the first episode. I need y'all to understand how money works. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm an accountant in real life. If there is no, it, it doesn't matter the demand. If there's no money for the supply in conclusion, a lot of y'all are going into this series thinking that they're going to be able to animate a hippogriff animate <laughs> anime a, a monkey slash whatever they don't have the money and if they wanted to they could charge us more on netflix oh wait they are okay before i go into the review so episode review for the first episode is basically our introduction to everything um it's the origin story of Aang finding out that he's an avatar frozen in the ball and of course meaning key characters like katara sokka um zuko iro and then like the shadow of um, kiatsu um and then the shadow of what was it the fire lord ozai i think it was like his voice in the background but um that's pretty much the episode review um i i call i give it a three out of five i feel like they're passing the class but i feel like they could do more um so let's go to the character comparisons that's what i'm going to talk about in a little bit but i really wanted to i really wanted to say the money thing because a lot of y'all don't understand how money works <laughs> okay if there's no money there they can't keep making episodes as you can see um there is eight episodes for the first season so we're gonna go into the character analysis so ang um the actor that they chose he is adorable i'm sorry he's so cute <laughs> he's so cute i'm wearing their colors today um but he's so cute clearly i'd be a firebender but he's so cute um they did miss the part in the episode where they were just like, oh, um, do you want to go penguin sledding with me? Like they missed that part. Another part that they missed too, um, was the fact that he's a kid. Like, I don't know about y'all, but if y'all think I'm childish at 33, I was a child, child, child at 12. So something about him being able to pick up everything and not want to goof off was kind of sending me a little bit. I wanted him to be a little bit more childish. Um, he already looks childlike. And then um, there was a lot of his crying was taking me out. Like, I can't watch him cry. He is so adorable. You're always being my friend. I was just like, don't make me feel things. OK, because he is so adorable. So um, great casting for him. I, I'm really looking forward to like if they do continue the series. Like, I want to see him like mature more and like see like his voice. Um, Zuko is giving Fenty beauty. The it gi it's giving like like that's why I will the smoky eye. This is like, this is basically like something about like the scar. Like the reason why the reason why in the series it was such a character development for Zuko was the fact that the scar looked horrible like it literally looked like his father parentheses because he's an animal um he looked like he went in like and he couldn't move okay they did an agni kai and basically his eye went bye bye like it was mutilated like i thought they were going to do scar tissue like it's supposed to continue from his eye to his ear like his ear is supposed to be mutated like and then it heals over time he's young you know he can be able to like bounce back from that which physically not mentally um but i was expecting that like the only thing about zuko like zuko's energy like his voice i feel like i can I, for some reason when i hear him the actor like i do hear the influences of dante busco you know og legend um but i do hear dante busco's influence on his voice like how he pronounces certain words but you know you know i have an ear <laughs> you know you know my ear don't play so um i do hear like his influence on how he pronounces words so definitely for sure um but his energy um i feel like they chose a lot of people who had a background in martial arts because it looks natural um i know they have stunt doubles for like the harder ones but some I, it just gives me like everybody was like given a kung fu class or basic karate like how they like their stances their forms are amazing like the form is like really the form is really really good so i definitely know for sure that 
<laughs> not my whole thing falling but i definitely know for sure that like i don't know like i just feel like everybody was like definitely trained or they took a class so i really appreciate the detail there but um great but the, the scar the scar could have been worse um Sokka they 3d printed Sokka they did I know a lot of people are just like oh my god like something about Sokka just I was like are you serious like his mannerisms like even how he like carries his face I have a couple of reflectors um even how he carries his face like his mannerisms give Sokka like I don't know what it is like like out of all the casting for everybody in the show besides Daniel Day Yum I mean Fire Lord Ozai um Besides him, everybody's casting, Zo like, like to Sokka, sorry, Sokka has the best casting. Like, his mannerism, his deadpan delivery, a lot of people are saying, oh my god, he gives nothing, he's not the goofiness from the show, but I also feel like, like I said, like, there's a lot of you that aren't realistic about stuff, so I'm gonna leave you to it, but I think it's, like, he did a good, I, he did a good, he did a good thing. Um, I have chemistry with the team. I was like, oh my God, I'm at work. Uh, but he has good chemistry with the team. Like, I feel like they kind of need like his balance. Cause like Katara was like, you know, she's like happy. And then like, Aang's like, oh my God. Yeah. You know? And then, so like for Sokka to be kind of like more deadpan, more serious, like he was in the, um, series. I am looking forward to seeing his character develop as well throughout the series. But, um, I think they did an amazing job. Like he gives Sokka, um, Katara, I don't really have, I don't really have I'm kind of neutral like she's a, she's she's beautiful you know but like there's not like Katara wasn't my favorite character from the series until she learned how to bloodbend but um <laughs> I know I, I know I ain't crap for that I know I know I know but Katara was never my favorite from the series my favorite from the series has to be um tough and then I like Korra but Korra is more Korra is more of my personality anyways like even though like Katara and Korra it was water benders, but Cora's more like she she don't play. I'm more Team Cora than I am Katara. So, but like the casting, I think they did good. Like um, definitely for good for sure. I can tell they put a lot of thought of it. There was a lot of forgiveness that we had to do from what happened the last time they um, brought a uh, live action version of Avatar. Um, but overall. I wish they would have called it before I go into my pros and cons. I wish they would have called it like with all the characters. All the characters are good. Iroh is good as well. I wish they would have called it. Um, I just wish they would have called it like um, the last airbender in Avatar story. You know, like basically. So we're not too. So we're not expecting a common car. Like we're not expecting a cop copy and paste from the series. Like a lot of people are like don't do any spoilers. Like how is this spoiler? When we all saw the series almost two decades ago. Dang, we old. Um, but I'm just like, it's not really a spoiler. Cause be like, don't say no spoilers about Avatar. I was like, what spoiler? Like we all know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like what the? We already seen the animation. What are we doing right now? Um. But I can definitely say I wish they would have did that because that's how I was able to truly enjoy like Fate and Wing series. It got canceled, by the way. Um, I was able to enjoy the series because I put out my mind that this is the Wings from my childhood. Like this is not the Wings from it is not the Wings from 2004 or 2005. Like, this is not that Wings. This is this is Fate the Wings series. You know, so I wish they would have like changed the title so that way it wouldn't be that same expectation that this is gonna be an apology for what happened with M Night, Sha M. Night Shyamalan story. But I thought it was gonna be an apology for that. But like it was just I don't know. I think there was a lot of confusion and I just wish they would have just changed the title and really been like, Hey, this is not going to be, this is just going to be a rendition of it. It's just going to be a summary. And, um, that's why I said like for the first episode, like I'm, I'm excited to see the rest of it. I didn't get a chance to see it cause I'm also watching love is blind and Mia Culpa at the same time. So Netflix is popping right now. I only have two sets of eyes <laughs> and one hand to write notes. So it's just like, I I'm, I'm trying to keep pace with everything else, but definitely for, I had to give my first reaction for the first episode. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, there's just a lot that there's just a lot that I can tell, like there was a lot of detail that was put into it. Like I can until like they were not playing they're like okay these these fanatics of uh avatar the last airbender they're very sensitive they're very very detailed um some of them don't have w2s okay some of them are unemployed so they have time to sit here and criticize okay but i definitely i can definitely say like i was pleasantly surprised um the casting all the characters i am excited to see more from daniel day kim um, i haven't seen him besides like you know in passing or whatever they have like they haven't really shown like his piece but let's go into the cons so 
The cons is the PG rating. So we just burning people. <laughs> what? Like the first scene, I thought it was gonna be like, okay, they're just gonna just show or hear. We're just gonna hear him screaming in the background. When they showed him burning him like a piece of French toast left on the um eye, I was like, oh my god, this is not PG. And I truly want to see if they can change it to PG thirteen. Like I said, like now that I'm older and I've watched more kids, as as Mama Claire. I don't want my baby under 13 watching this because PG is parental guidance. Like it's 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 assumed that a parent is gonna parent is gonna be around, but it's not really like it's not really like a true like they need to be standing right next to you, you know. But PG 13 would have been better because there's certain scenes that are a little bit scary, a little bit more sensitive. I wish they would have done that. Um the detail of the storyline, the pacing, I was, I, the thing was like, I watched the trailer and I was just like, I'm only pressed about the pacing because like they started backwards. Like <laughs> they kind of started, they started backwards. Like they started all the way back to the Sozin's comet. Like when he first, you know, a hundred years ago, um, when he first find out that he was the avatar, you know, and then the fire nation came, you know? So it's just like, they went all the way back and I feel like that was just them covering their tracks so they can speed up because I've never seen it where they I've never seen where they actually had it where they've gone backwards and it makes sense like they only go backwards because it's like did you get that good now we can run like it was just kind of like I, I kind of got that feeling from them that they were just like okay so we're gonna rush the rest of it so I hope you're okay with that we're gonna rush the rest of it that's the vibe it gave me and then um, there's no buildup. Like, I felt like they kind of like, like Aang was like in um, Zuko's grasp when he like grasp, like for a little bit. And then he was like, all right, we saved them. Like it's giving Scooby-Doo. Like, you know how Scooby-Doo was just like, you'll watch the show and you're just like, you're going to solve this in 20 minutes or 20 minutes, one commercial. You're going to solve this soon, aren't you? Like, it was definitely giving that. Like, it wasn't giving, it wasn't giving that, um, there's going to be much conflict, like conflict resolution. There's not going to be no resolution. There's going to be the conflict's just going to dissipate and we have to go to the next one, but we're going to a positive. So we're going to the likes. So first things first, the casting, like I said, the casting is chef's kiss. Like I know there was a lot of people saying, Oh my God, how could you like, you know, there was there. Um, I did, I did like the fact that they took time to find the correct cast, not for just the um, martial artist part, but also acting wise. Like I feel like from episode one, like everybody's doing the emotion they're supposed to. Like I don't know why you guys expect a lot from a kid actor as well, because people were just like, "Oh, Aang's not giving as much as emotion," and I was just like, "He's a teenager. I don't know what that wanted." But um, I just feel like the casting's good, and give them a chance. Like some people, they're just here. They're just bent out. They're just set on making sure that no one gets to enjoy things because they don't get to enjoy it you know so but um definitely for sure i did like the fact that the casting was just like chef's kiss everybody's height i am a little worried about i'm a i'm a little worried about um katara and ang's height age wise it's fine but the height is a little confusion because the height difference of it's like to see them kiss at the end because yeah, yeah it's not a spoiler to see them kiss at the end is gonna stress me but um let's see, let's see how they set up because it could just be a kiss on the cheek okay but they are supposed to kiss at the end of the series so we don't know um that was a little confusing i also put like um the costume design they were in their bag like i truly feel like it was eskimo like um it, it took me out when zuko it took me out when zuko was just like one of you doesn't belong and then like angel's like how'd you know it was me you're in primary colors like everybody else is wearing i know blue the primary color but i was like sir you're dressed like a sunset and you're just like how did they know it was me really ang like i don't know i, I didn't want to be mean or nothing but i was like that was very confusing his arrow detail was amazing like the one from 2009 the arrow detail was good too but this one like the arrow detail like i could look if you look closely you can see if you look closely like you can see like the little um you can see like the little designs for the arrow like he they really did their thing in that like i really feel like they put detail to attention to it but overall please go watch the series because like i said netflix doesn't play netflix is just like okay you want this idea cool are people gonna watch it if not it's time to go so like I said, definitely for sure, tune in for the next review. Make sure you get this one up so we can have a good, clear hair. And don't forget to subscribe and share.
child. I don't know why I don't turn off.